Hi, this is Ryan with Gravy Photo Tools. Wanted to show you one of our new products that we're going to be releasing soon. Uh, these are going to be some texture toning actions, and it's going to bring some color, contrast, and detail to textures and backgrounds you might be using for stock or personal use, or maybe overlaying another image. Um, in this case, I've just got a, a kind of a rustic piece of paper that I shot, uh, I believe, standing on a chair with this laying flat on a table. Um, if this is something that you're shooting for stock or even for personal use, you want to make sure that you shoot a pretty high aperture and that you um, are e on an even level to make sure that the focus is consistent all the way across the image. Uh, that's going to be useful if it's being used in a design um, for consistency. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run. Um, we've got a couple different color options here. I'm going to run the yellow-orange action and um, zoom in a little bit while this is running. A bit of a delay just while it runs through the script. but All right, uh, there we go. You'll notice there's some darkening around the edges, some vignetting that really draws our attention to the middle of the image. Um, some some color has been brought out, and then if we zoom in, uh, there's quite a bit more detail, uh, and uh, the imperfections are actually accentuated, which in a texture background uh, we want. If I go back in my history to before we ran the action, you'll see that uh, we, we have some texture and detail here, but after running the action, uh, it's really brought out uh, the, the elements of the paper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run one other action just to show you one of the other colors here. Uh, we'll do the blue-gray. Again, there'll be a little bit of a delay while that's running through. Um, and what I want to show you now is uh, a way that you can use uh, these uh, finished toned textures in your own uh, your own work for other purposes than just the background. Um, so I'm going to take this paper texture and drag it over on top of this uh, portrait of this nerdy guy here. Uh, this is a nothing wrong with this picture. Um, but I, I'm wanting a little bit of texture in the background. It's really smooth, uh, which looks good, but uh, I want to bring a little bit of texture in there. So uh, I've dragged, dragged my paper, uh, my toned texture paper layer uh, over to the portrait and line it up there. Uh, and now we'll go over here to the different screen modes and um, I'm going to set it to overlay. Um, and so obviously that looks a little bit harsh and overexposed on the, the, the subject, but we, we see in the background it's put that paper texture on there and added some really cool detail to the background. Um, might lower the opacity a little bit here. And then if I want to take some of that detail off of the subject, I can come down and add a layer mask. Uh, we've got the layer mask on white, so I'll select a black paintbrush and just paint right here on the layer, making sure that the layer mask is selected over here. Um, and I'll lower my opacity a little bit. And um, if I want to reduce some of the texture effect on him and maybe some of that uh, slightly overexposed look, I can just paint right on top of him. Uh, and I'm doing this a little bit sloppy just for demonstration purposes. But um, so here we've got uh, a cool example of how you can use those textures to to add some detail and uh, kind of grungy looks to your portraits. So uh, that's it. Uh, make sure you sign up on our email list. We're gonna have a lot more free information, coupons, uh, promotions, and deals, and uh, yeah, a lot more cool stuff to come. So I uh, hope you check it out. Thanks, bye. Hey!